Welcome to another TOEFL listening practice video. In this video, you will listen to a lecture, answer some questions about it, review the correct answers and explanations. Don't forget to subscribe for more TOEFL listening practice. Today, we're going to explore the basic ideas of evolutionary biology, natural selection and adaptation. These concepts are key to understanding how species change over time in response to their environments. Natural selection is the process by which organisms that are better adapted to their environment tend to survive and reproduce more successfully than those that are less adapted. This differential reproductive success leads to the gradual change of populations over generations. Natural selection operates through several mechanisms, variation, Individuals within a population exhibit variation in traits, such as color, size, or behavior. Heritability. Some of these traits are heritable and can be passed on to offspring. And differential survival and reproduction. Individuals with advantageous traits are more likely to survive and reproduce, passing on their advantageous traits to future generations. For example, in a population of giraffes, Individuals with longer necks can reach higher leaves for food, giving them a survival advantage over giraffes with shorter necks. Over time, the population evolves with an increased frequency of longer-necked individuals due to natural selection favoring this trait. Adaptation, on the other hand, refers to the process by which organisms evolve traits that enhance their survival and reproductive success in a particular environment. These traits are shaped by natural selection over many generations. There are several types of adaptations. Structural adaptations, physical features of an organism that enhance its survival, such as the sharp beak of a bird for feeding. Physiological adaptations, internal mechanisms that allow organisms to perform specific functions, such as the ability of desert plants to conserve water. And behavioral adaptations, these are actions or behaviors that help organisms survive and reproduce, such as migration patterns or predator avoidance strategies. Human activities, such as pollution, habitat destruction, and climate change, can alter natural selection pressures on populations. For example, industrial pollution may lead to the selection of resistant organisms, while habitat destruction may reduce genetic diversity and limit adaptive potential. So, Natural selection and adaptation are fundamental processes driving evolutionary change in organisms. By understanding these concepts, we gain insights into how species have adapted to diverse environments and how human activities can influence evolutionary trajectories. One. What is the primary focus of today's lecture on evolutionary biology? Two, according to the lecture, what are the mechanisms through which natural selection operates? Three, why are longer necks and giraffes considered an example of natural selection, as explained in the lecture? Four, based on the lecture, what can you infer about the impact of human activities on natural selection? Five. How does the lecturer organize the discussion on the types of adaptations? Six. 
6. How do natural selection and adaptation contribute to evolutionary change in organisms, as explained in the lecture? The lecture starts with, today, we're going to explore the basic ideas of evolutionary biology, natural selection and adaptation. This establishes the primary focus of the lecture. The lecture explains, natural selection operates through several mechanisms. Variation. Individuals within a population exhibit variation in traits. Heritability. Some of these traits are heritable, and differential survival and reproduction. Individuals with advantageous traits are more likely to survive and reproduce. These are the mechanisms through which natural selection operates. The lecture uses the example, in a population of giraffes, individuals with longer necks can reach higher leaves for food, giving them a survival advantage over giraffes with shorter necks. This illustrates how longer necks provide a survival advantage. The lecture states, human activities, such as pollution, habitat destruction and climate change can alter natural selection pressures on populations. This implies that human activities can change selection pressures, affecting evolutionary outcomes. The lecture discusses there are several types of adaptations, structural adaptations, physiological adaptations, and behavioral adaptations. This shows the categorization of adaptations into different types. The lecture concludes, natural selection and adaptation are fundamental processes driving evolutionary change in organisms. This indicates that these processes lead to the gradual development of advantageous traits.